after you've oriented all these other things, you also want to make sure that you understand the orientation of the actual ultrasound probe that you're using. And what this means is that after you grab a probe and you start putting on your ultrasound gel, you want to make sure you understand which side of the probe is which. So which, the question you have to ask yourself before you start any ultrasound procedure is which side of this probe corresponds to which side of our screen. And if you, anytime you grab a probe, there can be markings on the side that you may be familiar with that answer this question, but it can also be very useful to just put your finger on one side and tap. So we can see that the right side of the probe here, as I tap, corresponds to the right side of the screen over there. And this is very important when you start doing your procedures because you will need to keep in mind the orientation of the probe and the screen when you're repositioning anything, pretty much anything. So as you, as you place the probe on the patient or on the model here, you can see that we have kept our alignment. And any time you want to check, let's say even without taking the probe off your work surface, what you can do is you can lift one side. So for example here, I can lift the left side and I can see on the screen that the left side, when I lift it, the left side of the screen goes dark and I can only see stuff on the right side. And similarly, if I lift up the right side, we can see that of the probe here, as I'm lifting this up, we see that the right side of the screen starts to disappear. So this can be a way to quickly check when you're on your work surface, which side is which. So always good to test the probe before you start, so you keep in mind your orientation, but also when you're actually on your work surface, you can lift the probe one direction or another and start to see where things are aligned. So we're working in this axis right now, um, which is pretty intuitive where the right side here is the right side of the screen, left side here is left side of the screen, but also we want to keep in mind that when we work in this other plane that's perpendicular to our screen surface, we always want to be consistent in which side of the probe is further away from us and which side of the probe is closer to us. So doing our quick test here, if I lift the side of the probe that's closest to me like this, I start to see that the left side of the screen goes dark. So this means that the side that's closest to me is the left side of the screen and the side that's furthest from me as I'm lifting over here, and again, the, now is the right side. So we see that the right side goes dark. <clears throat> so very important to always keep things consistent where for the examples of this, um, these videos, I'm gonna keep the right side of the screen corresponding to the side of the probe that's further away from me. So keep in mind that you need to be consistent and you always need to know which side of the probe corresponds to which side of the screen, regardless of if you're holding your probe perpendicular to the screen or parallel.